guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a try on haul for you. It's going to be a Zaffle clothing try on haul. If you've been familiar with Zaffle, I've done a bikini haul by them. I'll leave it linked right over here for you to check it out if you're interested. Zaffle is going to have some great deals for Black Friday, like 20% off one item, 30% off two items, and 40% off three items. And some will be buy three, get one free. It all depends on what section they're in. So definitely check it out for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Let's get into the items that I got because I'm pretty much in love with every single one of them and I really did good. So the first item I'm actually wearing, I have a bralette under it. I don't know if you can see. Oh, good. I don't know if you can see it, but these are sold at Brandy Melville, these types of very mesh, sparkly lettuce edge tops. And a lot of times when you buy these off of these cheaper knockoff websites, it's a bigger size, doesn't fit right, it never looks exactly the same. But to me, this is like the closest match you can get to buying it from Brandy Melville. Put a cute bralette underneath and uh, call it a day. Maybe put a leather jacket on top. That would look pretty cute. All right, now I'm gonna take this off. Just kidding. Speaking of leather jackets, I got this vegan leather jacket from Zaffle too. It's got a lot of different details on it. It's got some lines, some padding, some zippers, and it's a very thick fake leather, so it feels good quality. The only thing that looks a little cheesy is this button pocket right here but besides that which can be totally hidden by this flap right here when it's unzipped i think it's a really good looking jacket for the price it does have a belt where you can cinch your waist and like a lot of these items from china it does not have that strange horrible paint smell it actually kind of smells like real leather which is so strange even though it's not as you can tell, Zephyl has a lot of good Brandy Melville dupes, so I had to pick up this gingham dress. I know it's another gingham item, I need to stop. It's a straight across cami slip dress. It has adjustable straps, which is such a small feature, but it goes a long way with fit. It's just like the perfect, perfect little gingham dress. Like, it looks just like the one from Brandy Melville. This is another Brandy dupe. It's a grid skirt, and this quality, is blowing my mind. It's super thick, super stretchy, conforms to your body. It's not like a cheap skirt where it feels like paper thin and it's just sitting on your body. Like this is legit. It has some cute little, I guess, what would you call it? Like scallop little dolphin cutouts. I don't know what is style, what is fashion. The next item I ordered is huge on me. I don't know if they sent me the wrong size or the size small is this big because it doesn't say the sizing on the little coupon, uh, the receipt. What am I saying? But it's just this green cardigan and I'm going to give it to my sister because it looks ridiculous on me even though it would be comfy for around the house. I think it's just really oversized and it feels like I'm wearing a blanket which is a really good thing so I would recommend buying this if you want a comfy cardigan. The next piece I got is this very, very soft, distressed collar, v-neck mustard sweater. It is just beyond, like, I can't even tell you how soft this is. And it's just, if you look up real close, it's really fuzzy. And um, yeah, I, of course, uh, picked out another mustard colored sweater. The next item's color is out of my comfort zone. I don't usually pick this color blue, but I got a lantern sleeve kind of like a royal blue mock neck sweater. Super thick, super warm, great length to wear with high-waisted jeans, kind of tucked in or like a half tuck kind of thing, messy tuck. I haven't tried the next item on yet. It's a mini skirt that's faux leather. It's got some buttons and kind of like an asymmetrical hem at the bottom, just like the fold over design. It does have a, like a weird stinky smell, but worth it for an affordable skirt, honestly. The next item I got is a kind of like a salt and pepper marled texture lantern sleeve cardigan. It runs kind of big, but that's fine because it's perfectly oversized on me. It runs down basically to my knees and it's perfect to wear with say, leggings or jeans and a crop top. All right, this one I'm gonna leave on because I'm actually getting cold, so. Oh, it looks exactly the same. I'm sorry, I just really like this color. It's kind of just mixed black and white threads and I think it flatters pretty much everyone. So I got it in a kind of like a turtleneck crop sweater. Same kind of look to it. Maybe it's a little cooler toned, whatever. It's not, it's literally not a huge difference at all. Really good quality, thick. 
and warm. I'm a little disappointed with these bodysuits, I must say, because they do not have the buttons in the crotch, which if you're a girl, you know how helpful that can be when you're going to the bathroom wearing a bodysuit, and I love layering bodysuits in the winter underneath sweaters, because it's like an extra layer of like warmth hugged to your body, it's perfect. But these are super cute, they have really high cut leg holes, so we'll see how that fits. But I mean, it shouldn't really matter because I'm just gonna wear pants over them anyway. Adjustable strap. Zaffle, I see you. And I got it also in white because I don't have a white bodysuit yet. I'm excited to style this next item. It's a fishnet crop top. And um, yeah, this is totally not something I would usually go for, but I figured why not try it out. Maybe like nightwear, wear a black like crop tank top underneath or um, use it for a photo shoot or something. I could see this styled in really cool ways. Last but not least, I got a mock neck red sweater. I've already worn this and it's very good quality, very warm and super cozy. It's the perfect crop length to wear with something high-waisted or mid-waisted and it's in this really pretty red color which is great for the holidays. So I definitely recommend this sweater and pretty much everything I got, I would recommend. Zappel has really upped their quality, I felt, or at least these items that I got. There's a couple loose threads inside and like weird stitching, but it's really not a big deal to me. It's all on the inside or it's just so, such a small little imperfection that I wouldn't care for the price that you get these things at. I'll have some more try on hauls coming to you in the next month or so, so sit tight, stay tuned, and if you wanna watch another try on haul, then I will leave that right here for you to check out. It's a thrift haul. I have some items for sale on my Poshmark and my Depop that I feature in that video. And uh, most of them are still there, so definitely go check it out. If you would like to check out Zapful, I'll leave all the links down below so you can find them and coupon codes if I can find them also. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'll see you in the next one.